Hi everyone and welcome to Tea Time Diaries. My name is Jennifer and in today's video I'm going to be sharing with you just a little house project that I have in my bedroom. So um, I have a corner um, in my room with a wall that's been empty uh, since we renovated the upstairs and my vision for it is really just to have a little corner in the room where I can sit down and make a nice cup of tea and just, you know, read a good book and relax. So that's my vision. I'm going to be taking you guys along with me through the process. Uh, this will be a two-part video um, because, again, there's, uh, there's a lot to do even though it doesn't seem that way. Um, and of course, I don't have everything that I need at the moment. Um, so there is a lot, like still little things that I need to do for um, this project, but this is going to be the first part. So just be um, on the lookout for the next part coming shortly. Um, but yeah, I just want to share my vision with you, um, what I've purchased so far and what I've done so far and what I'm going to do as well. So um, yeah, let's go ahead and get started with the video. All right, guys, so this is the corner of my room that I'm talking about. Um, just to give you a little background, um, we recently renovated um, our home, and this is the attic, which we converted into a master bedroom for my husband and I. And so that's why, you know, the walls are not particularly, um, like they're not in that normal squared. Or rectangular shape right so you can see the the shape of um, like that typical attic shape and don't mind the mess <laughs> this isn't gonna stay like this but like I said renovations take time and we don't have the upstairs fully renovated yet there's still lots of work to do and so this is just one of the spaces that I want to um, work on now so that it looks better so um those are all of my husband's things his clothes and workout gear that we're obviously going to be moving to a different area and this is the wall that i'm going to be using now originally these shelves were not on the wall the wall was totally empty and i did make a video of the wall before the shelves were put up just to kind of show you what the bare wall looked like but unfortunately, I lost that video. I wasn't able to recover it. So you're basically just seeing the shelves put up. Um, and, you know, it's not a big deal because, you know, you guys know what an empty wall looks like. But it's always nice to see like a before and after, um, even though this is not the total after. But anyway, um, these are the shelves. And... I'm going to link them below. I bought these on overstock.com and they came in a set of four, but I only use three on this wall. The other shelf is in my office area, which I would show you, but it's very messy. I just came back from a trip, so I just I took all of my things out of my bags and I have to just put everything away. So I'm not going to show you that right now. But they're, they do come in four, and so I just used these three, and I'll come up closer so you can see what they look like. Now, these shelves, um, they're good in terms of like the material and everything, and I like the design. They have like little hearts on them, which I think is sweet. Um, I don't know if they're intentionally supposed to be hearts but they look like hearts to me so um the only thing that i had to do different with these shelves was that i had to paint them and it wasn't my intention to paint them because i didn't want to give myself extra work but i want to show you because i didn't paint the whole thing just the outside so if i get close you guys can see um the shelves were a little bit antiqued right um, which just means for those of you who don't know that they kind of get sanded off a little bit on the corners 
just to make them look a little bit aged. And I don't mind that look, but if you notice, there's sort of like a rusty color that they put around it, and that's what I didn't like. So I don't mind the aged look or the antique look, but I don't like that sort of orangey, rusty color that they added, again, to make it look more rustic, more aged. So I just took some white chalk paint that I have, and I um, went ahead and painted those so that way you wouldn't see that. So that was really the only down um, side to purchasing these shelves was that I had to do that extra work that I didn't want to do. But I am happy with the way that everything turned out. So just, I'm going to move back a little bit. So just uh, to kind of go over what my vision is, what am I going to do with the shelves? I'm going to display my teacups on these shelves because the idea is that I'm going to be putting a tea card and this chair right over here um, in this corner. And this is going to be like my little tea corner where I can make my tea um, in the mornings, in the evenings. I work a lot from home and my um, little office area or my desk is on the other corner. Again, not going to show you that now. Probably I'll show it to you later once it's all picked up and tidied. But so anyway, <laughs> I'm losing my focus here. But it's on the, op, you know, the next corner, the next wall. Um, both of the walls are divided by this window. You can kind of see my desk a little bit, but that's all I'm going to show you for now. Um, but in any case, since I work from home a lot and I do spend a lot of time upstairs, um, it would be nice to just kind of make a nice cup of tea up here. I'll probably have a pitcher of water as well. Um, so I can keep myself hydrated and happy throughout the day. Um, so that's what I plan on doing here. So, you know, first thing I have to, <laughs> now that the shelves are up, I have to um, remove all that stuff that belongs to my husband. And um, I have to put up the teacups. And I have a little project for this chair as well. Um, I purchased this chair on Facebook Marketplace for... Uh, I want to say $30. It was either $25 or $30. It wasn't a lot. And yeah, there's my desk, guys. I, I didn't realize that I was showing it, but there it is. There's the mess. Anyway, I'm just... Everyone has a, has a mess here <laughs> every so often. So anyway, um, so there's the... That's the other corner that I was talking about. All right, so right here is this chair that I'm going to be using, but I'm not crazy about the kind of color. So I love the like the design of it, and it's really beautiful. It's like a French country type of chair. I love the designs on the wood and everything, but I don't like the color. So I'm actually going to paint the chair. I saw a couple tutorials on how to use chalk paint to paint fabric and I'm going to go for it. I didn't pay a lot of money for the chair so if it were to not come out the way that I wanted to it wouldn't be a big loss but honestly I have a lot of confidence in the technique. I've seen lots of people do it and so I'm not worried about it. I, I know that it's going to come out great. I'm excited to show you guys the before and the after. But that's the chair that's going to go over here along with, um, like I said, a tea cart that I am going to also purchase on uh, Facebook Marketplace and fix it and make it the way that I want it to. Um, but yeah, so this is the wall. And I'm going to go ahead and clean everything up. And then I'm going to show you how I plan on displaying my teacups on those shelves. All right, guys. So it is the next day. And I cleared up everything from this area. And so what I plan on doing, things that, 
you probably wouldn't see on camera, but you know, if you take a close look, you could see them, would just be to kind of retouch the paint because, you know, having different things up against the wall has led to like little scratch marks here and there. So definitely just painting the wall as well as um, the base molding there. I also need to get covers for the outlets. So I have that outlet that needs a cover and this outlet over here that needs a cover as well. So I'll definitely be doing that, but I'm gonna get ready to um, put the teacups in place. So let me go ahead and show you what I purchased to display the teacups on. All right guys, so these are the teacups. And I apologize for the lighting because it's not a very sunny day today. It's actually overcast. But I got these um, gold holders from Amazon and I'll make sure to link them below. But basically um, they came in a pack of, I wanna say I think there was eight per pack, eight of these. And so it holds the saucer as well as the teacup and originally i had bought a different type of holder which was more like a clear plastic that would only hold the saucer and not the teacup so it didn't have this hook here it just had the bottom piece and it was plastic but those would not work for those shelves because the shelves are not very wide and so I can't fit the saucer and the teacup on the shelf. So I need to be able to hang the teacup in order for both pieces to fit on the shelf. So I went ahead and put all of the saucers and the teacups onto each of these little uh, golden holders and I'm just going to be arranging them on the shelves. So I'm gonna go ahead and start doing that now and I'll show you the process. Um, all the florals and everything, that's just stuff that I need to put away, just like spring decorations that I need to put away, but I'm gonna go ahead and put the teacups up on the display and I'll show you the process. guys so this is what the shelves look like now sadly we did have a casualty very upsetting um, one of my teacups fell and cracked 
while I was putting them up. So um, <laughs> I have the, the teacup over here. It doesn't look, well, you can see the crack. Yeah, definitely. So yeah, just a casualty of dealing with fragile things, right? Um, but I do like the way that it looks. If I had one complaint, it would just be again that the width of these shelves, um, it's very, very small, right? So, um, there's not a whole lot of space. Um, and so the smaller the shelf, the more narrow it becomes. So by the time I got to the top one, which is the smallest shelf, I wasn't able to fit any of the teacups at all, but I did have this little painting of a teacup with roses that I had purchased at Michael's. So it actually looks really cute. I love it actually more than I think I would have if I would have put some teacups in there. So it did work out in the end. And so I have six on the bottom and five on the top. I think I could have fit that other teacup had it not accidentally fell and broken. But, you know, it is what it is. That's why I always try my best to find these teacups already used because they can be pretty expensive and they're fragile, right? Just like any kind of glassware or china, it can break. So when you're not paying too much money for it, it hurts a little less when they, when they fall and crack. <laughs> but this is what the shelves look like. And so now what I'm going to do is work on the chair. So I'm going to, let me show you the chair real quick. All right, so this is what the chair looks like. And what I'm going to do is that I'm going to clean it. Um, since I did buy this off of Facebook Marketplace, it's not brand new and it does have some stains on it. So I'm going to go ahead and clean it with my, um, I have a carpet cleaner, so I'm just going to use that. I'm going to clean it up and then once it dries, I'm going to start the painting process and I'll show you what that looks like as well. All right, so I cleaned the chair and this is what it looks like um, now that it's clean. Obviously, it's still wet, so I have to wait for it to dry, but look at that. Dirty water. Gross. That's why if you're going to purchase something that's used and it's in good condition, that's perfectly fine, but make sure you clean it, um, especially if it's fabric because... Yeah, that's pretty gross. But anyway, I'm gonna let that dry. Although I'm not gonna let it dry all the way because you do want the fabric to be a little bit damp when you use the chalk paint anyway. So um, yeah, I'll check back in a few hours and hopefully put that first coat of paint on. All right, so it's been about two, three hours, and the chair is pretty dry. It doesn't have to be completely dry because, like I said, the surface has to be a little bit wet. And I think it looks good for the most part. The stains came off a little bit, not entirely, but the paint should be able to cover the rest. And don't mind my puppies. Come, Michael. Um, but I'm going to be using some water. So I have, um, this water bottle to spray the chair because you have to keep the chair, um, damp so that the paint can get into the fibers. And this is a brush that I'm going to be using. And this is the brand of chalk paint and it is a linen white which is the same color that I use to it's the same color that I use to paint my desk up here so 
you know, it'll be like a cohesive look, everything will match. So um, I'm gonna just mix some of the paint and water into the, um, into the pan here because from the tutorials that I watched, basically you have to water down the paint a little bit and you have to keep the fibers of the chair wet. So I'm gonna get started on that and I'll let you know um, what the first coat looks like. This is what the chair looks like. Um, this is just the first coat and I'm already really loving the color and the way that it looks. As you can see, you can still see the pattern on the chair. It's just that now it's a lighter color than it was before. So right now what I'm going to do um, before I do the second coat is I'm going to sand this down. So from the tutorials that I've seen, um, sanding it down with sanding paper helps uh, remove that crunchiness so like for example if I get close to it right now I don't know if you guys can see or hear it's pretty crunchy so if I go ahead and sand it then it's supposed to remove that crunchiness and make it a softer smoother surface for the second coat. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now and then get started on the second coat. Once that dries up, I'll show you the result. And for the second coat, I'm gonna do the same thing that I did before, except that I'm not gonna be wetting it with the water bottle. I'm just gonna mix the paint with water. So it's gonna be pretty watered down paint that I'll be using for the um, second coat and I'm just going to use a lighter hand. I'm not going to put too much more paint on it, just a light brush of paint to finish it off. Alright guys, so I decided to just leave it with the one coat. Basically what I did was just touch up the little corners that needed a little bit more paint. But after sanding it down, I decided that I'm okay with the color, the way that it looks right now. And I didn't really want to add more um, paint to it, just because again, I wanted to avoid it getting crunchy and not, you know, soft like fabric should feel. So I would much rather just leave it the way it is because I am content with the color. Um, the white really did that sort of white wash um, made that beige color tone down a little bit um, enough where I feel happy and content with it. So I'm just gonna leave it the way that it is because again, I'm happy with it. I think it looks great. And then um, here is the chair along with the wall display of teacups. Um, I still have um, some more work to do with this little corner over here, but that's gonna be in the part two. So I will see you guys next time.
If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and comment below how do you think it's turning out. And of course, subscribe to my channel if you haven't done that already. But until next time, guys, have a terrific day. Bye.